I may have made a mistake. Here we go, my hands are purple and I'm literally... Oh, is this gonna work? I don't wanna cut too much of my hair off. Oh God. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be forcing myself to have a glow up. As you can see, I'm looking very glam right now. And let me tell you, yesterday, I did not look like this. With being inside now for such a long time, I'm kind of losing motivation to do simple tasks like wash my hair. And then I thought, you know what? No, I'm gonna spend 24 hours completely glamming up and just making myself feel good. This video is actually in collaboration with Boots. So essentially, I'm also testing out Boots Beauty for 24 hours. I'm gonna be using so many different brands and so many different brands that I love as well. And other than that, I hope you guys enjoy. And if you wanna see how I got to this finished result, keep on watching. Watching. Oh, by the way, the clip you're about to see, don't judge. Oh, no, no, no. So I look, um, rough. With being in the house for the past, I've actually lost count. I have kind of let myself go a little bit. And that means spending way too many days in bed. And I'm over it. I want to look good again. I want to feel nice again. So today, I'm forcing my glow up. It's happening for the next 24 hours. I'm forcing it. I'm gonna start off by getting a shower because that's probably a really good place to start and I'm gonna wash all my face, I'm gonna wash all my hair, I'm gonna do a hair mask, I'm gonna put a toning treatment on my hair because my hair's gone a little bit yellow. It's gonna be good, it's gonna be good. Like, I'm gonna feel great after this. Whilst I'm in the shower, I'm gonna use my Clean and Clear Triple Clear Spot Control Daily Scrub. This stuff has literally saved my skin. My skin is so much clearer and I honestly think it's because of this. And then on my hair, I'm gonna use the Lee Stafford Hair Apology Shampoo and Conditioner. Again, obsessed with this stuff and I'm going to use the Lee Stafford Beach Blonde Purple Rain Toning Treatment to counteract out my yellow tones because obviously you cannot get to the hairdressers and my hair has definitely gone yellow. Let's put it out there, in this video you are probably going to see me at my worst but hopefully by the end of the video, my best. I'm going to start off with my shampoo. I am obsessed with this shampoo. It is honestly, my hair used to be so dry and just so like split at the end but this is saved me. I wish you could smell how amazing it makes my hair smell and my hair smells as well of this scent for like a couple of days after like it lasts. And now I'm becoming a hairdresser. I am basically my own hairdresser at this point because obviously I cannot go and get my hair dyed so this is the next best thing. Here we go, my hands are purple and I'm literally... <laughs> I just want my hair to look that like nice white blonde again. I want it to look as though I'm fresh out the salon, just had my hair done, like that's the look we're going for. Luckily as well, this product actually protects your hair whilst you're using it, so you're not going to get any hair damage from it. Every time I use purple shampoo or a toning treatment, I put it in my hair and then I think I've washed it out. I'll get out of the shower and I've got like a purple hairline and a purple line down here, so let's try not let that happen. I'm pretty sure all the purple is out of my hair and now it's time for conditioner. I'm using my hair apology one from Lee Stafford as well. And I'm just going to massage this all in the ends of my hair. Does anybody else love getting their hair washed at the hairdressers? Oh my god, when they give me a head massage when they're doing the conditioner, I nearly fall asleep. I love that right now. I'd love just like something to come out from the shower and start going like that. Oh my god, imagine. My hair feels smooth. It's time to wash my face. Honestly, clean and clear stuff has helped save my skin. I bought it on a whim when I went to Boots about four or five months ago and I've literally been obsessed ever since. I used to have so much texture as well on my forehead ever since I've been using the scrub daily or actually twice daily. I use it once in the morning once in the evening. The texture on my forehead is basically near enough nothing. And we're done. My skin is actually already prepped because I shaved literally two days ago and I scrubbed two days ago as well. So my skin is all good and ready for my tan. Hair feels great. Let's uh, get dry so I can dry my hair. And oh my God, I cannot wait for silky locks. I'm out of the shower and I am about to sit and blow dry and straighten my hair. I'm actually going to put in some of the Lee Stafford Hair Apology 10 in 1 Leave-In Treatment Spray. And I'm just going to spray this all over my hair. I needed this so bad. Like, my hair needed this so bad. I'm now gonna blow dry my hair and hopefully in the next clip that you see, my hair will be long, silky, smooth and blonde. Oh my god, my hair feels incredible. One, it looks so much blonder than it did this morning. Like, it definitely has some yellow tension this morning. And I'm pretty sure I've managed to rip all of those out. And apart from my roots up here, it feels pretty good. Like, obviously, I'd love a haircut to just chop these ends off. 
but as a whole my actual hair feels incredible and i feel a little bit more glowed up now i'm doing something that i actually hate doing and i am so embarrassed to admit that i haven't actually plucked my eyebrows in well over a year i wanted to let them grow out and i've just figured now that like that is not the point like i just i need to pluck them i hate doing it so much and because i haven't done it in a year like i'm literally gonna cry and scream like a baby and everyone's gonna think oh my god why are you doing that but like eyebrow plucking actually really hurts especially when you haven't done it in that long i don't want to pluck a lot of hairs i just want to pluck a couple of the underneath ones and maybe a couple of the ones on top here's where i'm about to embarrass myself ow I literally can't even explain how much it hurts me. And I d Look at my eyes already. Oh my god, I'm nearly crying. Beauty really is pain, isn't it? I might not be able to get as many as I thought I was gonna get. This is so embarrassing. I wish I had someone to do it for me or like wax strips or something so I could just go like and then it's all over in like one bit of pain. Nope, I'm just gonna suck it up and I'm gonna keep going. Oh my god. <laughs> oh it hurts so much although that low-key looks better like that i literally only got like four or five but it definitely looks better let's try a couple on my other eye i don't know which eye hurts more i think it could be this one it's so weird though because this one has nowhere near as many hairs oh my god is it bad that i want to give up already my whole eye area just goes like absolutely not well that lasted long how embarrassing i think it's time for some skincare so i'm actually going to do some pore strips and a face mask so for my nose i have got the biore ultra deep cleansing pore strips and i'm going to put this like i said on my nose because i swear by these they're amazing but i also get blackheads on other areas of my face i've only got one of these left but it's my boots tea tree and witch hazel facial pore strip so you can actually put this not only on your nose but like on your forehead or chin and i'm debating whether to put it on my chin or on my forehead like where i got the most blackheads and stuff just looking at my skin i think it's going to get more out from my chin i'm first of all going to put this one on my chin and leave this on for like 20 minutes and then we can come back and do a face mask i would highly recommend doing this because i just feel so much better already for like pampering myself and feeling clean and making myself feel good looks like i've put a plaster on my chin i'm now just going to leave this for like 15 to 20 minutes whilst it dries and then i can show you guys what it pulled out i honestly haven't done a pore strip on my chin or on my forehead for again like well over a year like i just don't do this enough but like i was saying would definitely recommend doing this because i feel so much better and i feel like my body and just like my mental health is like thanking me for it already it's time uh ow oh my god oh my god that's a big one my chin really wasn't that bad there's one big one there and there's a couple all over i think my nose is going to be so much worse i love it because after i take a pore strip off you can feel like the air hit your pores because it's so clean it's such a nice feeling let's put the nose one on i did a nose one maybe like two weeks ago but i have really bad pores on my nose like really bad Let's pop that on and i always leave this on i'm not gonna lie for a little bit longer than i meant to just to make sure it really does grip on to the blackheads and any of the dirt that's in there and pull it out for my face mask i am going to use the l'oreal pure clay blemish rescue mask and honestly at the moment my skin has cleared up massively like massively massively i used to have so many red like violent spots on my face and in the last maybe like two years my skin has kind of fluctuated i've had like blemishes and stuff but but this is probably one of the best I've seen it. And I've used this and I feel like this has really helped calm my skin down. I use it maybe like once or twice a week. And again, I do have a habit of leaving face masks on for a little bit longer than you're meant to. So for example, the other day, I think I put the face mask on at maybe like one in the afternoon or maybe like two. And I ended up taking it off about eight o'clock at night. I'm not saying do that, but it just felt really good. And like it, it was this mask that I used actually. And my skin actually felt really really good for it so no i'm not recommending that you keep a face mask on for six hours i'm just saying that i have done it it actually wasn't that bad i absolutely love how this mask applies i always use a brush now with my face mask just to make sure i get an even layer but it's not too sheer which i love and it also has a really nice smell it is a clay mask so it's a little bit thicker than some of the other face masks that i normally use but i actually prefer clay masks they're some of my favorites 
just so satisfying putting a face mask on and some ways i just feel like i look better with one on but my skin is just very blemish prone so this one's really good for me but there's loads of different face masks that l'oreal have in this range that's all on my skin and i'm saying i'm gonna leave it for 20 minutes but let's be real i'll probably leave it for more so i'll update you guys when i take my pore strip off i may have made a mistake i've left this on for about an hour because i went downstairs and had lunch and forgot i had it on so i am now gonna be in pain oh i was nowhere near as bad as i thought oh my god it got so much out my nose just here wow let me show you guys look at all that that it got out from my nose it just oh my god i hate the fact that that was in my nose but i'm so happy it's out they're really really good pore strips and i'm just gonna pop some of this on my nose and then it's time to fake tan oh my god let me tell you i'm gonna feel so much better when i'm tanned i just look so much more alive so it's pending it's about to happen cute that can stay on my face now for probably like another half an hour then i actually will wipe it off because i want to moisturize and put some spot cream on and stuff just a little update on how i'm already feeling i feel one million times better and the fact that my hair is so much blonder and is so just like soft oh my god i don't know why i haven't had a proper proper pamper day in isolation already because i like, really what excuse have i had next up we are going to fake tan and i'm going to use the bondi sands self tanning foam in dark i've actually been using a ton of different fake tans at the moment to try and find one of the best ones and i haven't actually tried this one in a while so we're going to give this one a go and see what it turns out like let's give this a go i'm going to tan this part of my body on camera and then i will go off camera to do the rest but i just want to show you guys how it applies oh this is nice like i said this is actually dark so i don't know how dark this is going to develop but i really want that nice like golden tan again just like i've been on holiday but i just realistically haven't i always have to scrub it so much in my hands everybody uses a makeup brush that i know to do their hands so maybe i should actually try that it's applying really nicely i love this mitt as well if it already looks this color before it's even developed i think i'm gonna really like it place i need it the most is my chest and my neck because i think we all know by now that my foundation line can sometimes be quite bad okay i am gonna go away and i am gonna tan the rest of my body and then i can show you what my legs look like but as a first impression obviously it hasn't like developed at at all it's applied really really nicely and i'm loving it look how well the tan is developing it's going such a nice color to paint my toenails i'm going to use this barry m jelly high shine nail polish i love barry m nail polishes i mean my nails are actually fine i have gel color on them at the moment and hopefully this is going to last me like another two or three weeks until i have to try and get it off myself it's going to be a fun time but for the meantime i'm going to do my toenails i just turned the light on and two of my bulbs in my bathroom have just blown so no idea what has happened but face mask is off toenails are painted i'll show you them in a second and i am now going to tan my face with the centrope self tan spray it's a bronzing water face mist and i've never actually used it before first time using it because normally i actually tan my face with the fake tan and i'm trying not to do that since my skin has got better so i'm gonna use this oh is this gonna work it smells really really nice but i don't know if i'm putting too much on and we'll see if it works Here's my toenails. They look so much better now they're painted. And once my tan is all washed off and looking even, my toes are going to look cute. That's pretty much the end of my pamper session today. When I wake up, I'm going to do some more skincare. I would do skincare before bed, but obviously because I've just sprayed that on my face, I can't really do anything. So I'm going to wake up in the morning. I'm going to do my skincare. I'm going to wash this tan off. And we're going to get full, full glam. Like hair, makeup, lashes, like the, the full lot. Good morning, everyone. I have just woken up. I've woken up in the best mood it is the nicest day outside and my tan has developed so nicely like i feel so good i'm brown my face isn't obviously as brown as my body but it's still definitely picked up a little bit of color it's time to do some skincare and then i'm gonna put some makeup on this face i'm actually starting to love doing eyeshadow again and there was a phase of like a year where i just didn't wear eyeshadow other than like a one like a basic nude color and yesterday or actually it wasn't even yesterday i'm actually losing the plot it was about four or five days ago i did a look with like green khaki eyeshadow and everyone loved it so i'm thinking maybe do like a greeny blue look again and then maybe wear like a matching top and a matching bag literally just to go to my garden or my living room or my kitchen but like it just makes me feel better to get ready or getting ready to facetime my friends that's what i can that's that's my excuse actually i'm getting ready to look good to facetime my friends i was just doing my hair and i thought this was worth documenting so 
I saw on TikTok that there's a life hack where basically you twist your hair like this and all of your split ends like come out. So now this is where this absolutely fails. I'm going to do it very, very lightly. I don't want to cut too much of my hair off, but I'm just trying to get rid of the wispy ends. Some of you might be thinking, oh my God, what are you doing? But it seemed to work for this girl on TikTok. So why wouldn't it work for me? Oh God. I really need a haircut at the end of my hair, but I also don't want to like cut all my hair off. Give it a little trim at the end. Actually does look the tiniest little bit better. So let's do it again on the other side. I'm also not recommending you to cut your own hair. I'm getting quite bored now and I just think, why not? I might have to start watching tutorials on how to cut my hair. I might try and cut a little bit more off and um, I'll see you when I've done my hair. All my hair is done. I actually decided to curl it this morning, but I'm going to put all of it behind my head. I've decided I'm actually going to do my makeup for a Instagram video as a lot of people are requesting this look. But first of all, I need to prep my skin. So the first thing I'm going to use is the Clean and Clear Dual Action Moisturiser. I've spoken about this a couple of times. It's really, really good. It's oil free and it says it's moisturising and helps prevent spots and blemishes. As you can probably tell, from this video i like to use a lot of products that are blemish reducing because my skin is most prone to blemishes and actually more blemishes than scarring it's basically just blemishes i'm then going to use this Too faced hangover pillow balm lip treatment to prep my lips love this stuff i also put some of this on at night and it's really really nice and again i always use this at night as well it's the maybelline lash sensational boosting serum and i just pop it on my eyelashes my eyelashes went through a really bad stage after I got eyelash extensions where they basically were just falling out and it really really wasn't good and since I've been using this I felt like my eyelashes have come back stronger and they're actually growing longer than they used to be. It is now time for makeup. Now naturally I feel so much better with the tan, with the fresh skin, with the fresh hair but obviously I want to get a little bit glam so I'm going to go away and do that. I'm going to film it for an Instagram video. I will leave a little bit in here now. <laughs> If you do want to watch the rest head over to my instagram and other than that i will see you guys when i am glam and i'm all glam oh my god i literally feel one million times better than i did yesterday i'm feeling glam i'm feeling just good i'm tanned i feel like i've just come back off two week holiday like i said i did the makeup tutorial over on instagram if you do want to go and check it out the eyeshadow is so so cute and i've curled all my hair thank you so much for watching i really hope you guys have enjoyed i really 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 would recommend that you do this even if you just do a couple of bits like pluck your eyebrows wash your hair just make yourself feel good do a face mask and just get ready to go nowhere thank you so much to boots for working with me on this video i will leave all of the links to the products that i've used down below and other than that i will see you very soon for a brand new video Mwah. bye <laughs>